היום הוא פה כדי לדבר איתנו. Please give a warm welcome to Jim Aspey. What's up, Israel? It is an honor to be here tonight to be able to speak to you all about one of the most important things happening on this planet today. We're here to talk about animal liberation. Well done, Israel, and congratulations on making history tonight on at least one of, if not the biggest animal rights march ever in history. There are many different people here tonight. We have all different types of people who care about animals. We have animal lovers. We have vegetarians. We have vegans. We have activists. We have people who have a dog at home that they love. We have people who are against animal cruelty and against live export. We have people who are against fur and animals used in the fashion trade. We have many different types of people here who have come together tonight to unite for animal rights. Well done, everyone. I want to speak to everybody tonight about what this march means to me. I want to tell you why I'm here. I want to tell you what I believe this march means for the animals. And I want to do that because I believe some people who believe they care about animals and believe in their heart that they are animal lovers, many of us are confused about what that really means. And I know that because just a few years ago, I was also confused. Tonight I want to end the confusion. I want to tell you exactly what this march is all about. I want to tell you my story. What happened to me? I didn't used to care about animals. 13 years ago I was diagnosed with cancer. I was given six weeks to live. I suffered very much during this time and it was when I realized that suffering is one of the worst things that can happen to any living being on this planet. And it made me want to help others come out of their suffering when I was healthy and able to. I became a fitness instructor. I traveled around the world. I helped many people get fit and healthy. And one day, I met a very wise person. He made me wonder. He asked me the question, do you believe you can be a peaceful person while you still eat animals and it made me wonder I thought we always have to eat animals for our health I thought that was something we must do as humans I decided to look into it myself to find out the truth and what I learned was that we can be much healthier live a longer life reduce our chances of heart disease the biggest killer cancers diabetes obesity osteoporosis these are the things that our friends and our families will suffer and die from. I learned that when we don't eat animals, when we don't kill and eat them, they stop killing us from when we eat them. I got very excited by this. So I, I went vegetarian. I stopped eating meat so that I could get the many health benefits. Soon later I learned that is not the only reason to stop eating animals. I looked into it more. I watched a documentary called Earthlings, which shows all the ways, yeah, which shows all the ways that humans mutilate and torture and kill animals for food, clothing, entertainment, and medical testing. I saw what happens to these animals. I saw their screams. I saw the terror in their eyes. I saw babies getting their tails cut off, having their teeth cut out, and being castrated without any pain relief. I saw chickens crammed into tiny prisons. I saw baby boy chicks in the egg industry getting shredded alive because they will never produce eggs. 
I saw cows getting forcibly impregnated, her babies being taken from her. I saw the baby boys get their throats cut because they will never produce milk. I saw the mothers being hooked up to milking machines over and over every day until the day when they don't make the money that they used to and then these mothers also end up with a knife across their throat. I saw all the ways that we kill animals for fashion when we skin them alive, when we test products on them. And I thought about what I saw. I thought, what is the reason for this? If we don't need to kill and eat animals to survive and be healthy, then what are we doing this to them for? I looked for an answer. I wanted to find a reason. And I found four, the best reasons we have. Taste, habit, tradition, and convenience. And I thought about these reasons and I realized that taste does not justify a single scream that I had heard from their animals. Not a single scream. Any habit that causes the suffering and death of an innocent being is a habit that must be broken. I decided I was not doing enough. I needed to do more. Am I against cruelty to just some animals? Or am I against cruelty and violence to all animals? Am I against certain types of violence? Or am I against all types of violence? Of course, it only makes sense to be against all forms of violence. And this is where I learned what I had to do. I learned that I had to become a vegan. <laughs> Nothing else made sense. I always thought vegans were extreme. Why would you go vegan? The reason is because every single animal product comes from violence and torture and cruelty and killing of innocent beings. Meat, dairy, eggs, leather, wool, silk. Places that use animals for entertainment, places that experiment on animals. All animal use is wrong. All animal use is a form of exploitation. All exploitation is abuse and all abuse is wrong. I decided I needed to become vegan because when you become vegan, you align with what is in your heart. You become the peaceful, respectful, loving person that is already in your heart. You don't need to love tofu. You don't need to be a highly intellectual person. You don't need to be a particular religion. None of that matters when it comes to veganism. The only thing that you have to agree with to believe in veganism is that unnecessary violence and killing of animals is wrong. If you believe that, you have veganism in your heart already. We all already have veganism in our heart. If anybody sees someone hurting an animal, our natural reaction is to go over and help them. That is in our heart. And then later in the day, we might buy a chicken burger. And when we do that, we are paying somebody to commit these acts of violence. Going vegan is about widening your circle of compassion to embrace all living beings, not just dogs, not just dolphins, not just whales, but also pigs, cows, chickens, fish, bees and everyone in between it's about respect it's about peace and it is about justice that is what veganism is veganism is the golden rule in action it is about treating others the way that you would want to be treated and animals count as others Animals count as others. They are other species on this planet. They are other species on this planet. They are other communities. They have families. They have friends. They speak in their own way. They feel pain and suffer just like we do. They want to live and they do not want to die. So we should afford them the same basic respect. 
that we would want given to us. The respect and the right to live their life in freedom. Every single person on this planet who is against unnecessary violence should become vegan. Imagine if every single person in this crowd tonight who is not yet vegan makes a vow from tonight on, you will live a vegan life. Imagine how many lives will be saved. Every single person here. Every vegan who is already here, thank you so much for being here, for speaking up for the animals and for being a vegan in a not yet vegan world. Sometimes it's tough, but I want you to remain hopeful. I want you to remain positive. Look at what is happening tonight. Look at all these people here. We are growing in numbers. Our voice is getting stronger. We are becoming more organized. And every day we are a step closer to total animal liberation. Thank you very much. Go, go, Jim Sasky!